They say that sneezing is the nearest you can get to actually having an orgasm, and I agree. I do both into my hanky. Uh, bad news, I'm afraid. Um, our test show isn't actually dead yet. <laughs> Jerry just laid down a new track, man. Yeah, yeah. it's great, isn't it? I, uh, jump, 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 jump. Steve. Frank, Steve, Frank, Steve, Frank. Hamlet. Give it some. <laughs> to be or not to be. Do you want some or what? <laughs> that is the question. And it is a right blinding one as it goes down <laughs> Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, does one do one's bollocks? <laughs> or... What, or, like Stephen Redgrave, right? Matthew Pearson giving it large. Love it. Or... <laughs> to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them. What do you mean, right outside, I'll give you a right slap or what? <laughs> yes. Gotcha. Go on. To die, to sleep. To croak, to kip. <laughs> no more. No, Brian Moore, 70s football geezer, leave it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> to sleep, a chance to dream. Do I have a little kip? Aye, there's the rub. Or do I have a little rub? <laughs> For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come? When? <laughs> when we have shuffled off this mortal coil. Oh, I've got Chamlet, right? Give it some of that. After some of that. <laughs> Here you go, Mrs. Welch. You mind the step on the way out and give that lovely little daughter of yours a kiss from me. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Plumber. All right, lover. <laughs> Hello there, young Anthony. Hello, Mr. Plumbery. Um, your van is parked on the yellow line. I'm afraid you're going to have to pay a fine. Oh, dear. How's your mum? She's well. Got a couple of old pig's trotters in there for her. <laughs> Thank you. And some nice chicken livers for your Vera. Thanks, Mr Plumber. Now, about this van. <laughs> All right. This time we'll turn a blind eye, eh? I'll see you around. <laughs> Bye, then. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, today I count up to three. It's a one, a two, a three lines of coke. <laughs> Yariba! <laughs> Welcome to Holiday Special. This week we're going to look at leisure weekends. And as nobody enjoys their leisure more than Quentin Traveller, I've asked him to come along with me. Morning, Anna. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I don't know 
about you, but when I go on a leisure break, I like to get stuck straight into a full body workout. It's a really great cocktail. Cheers. <laughs> what better than a slippery rub down? <laughs> and all finished off with a nice hand shandy. <laughs> Isn't a cocktail? Okay, let's see what facilities are on offer. Well, you can go for a brisk walk in the beautiful gardens. Well, you can go to the bar. <laughs> you can work out in the gymnasium. What about a bar? Take a dip in the pool. Bra. <laughs> bar. <laughs> well, Quentin unwinds in. The bar. I discovered that the bar isn't the only place where you can enjoy a drink. <laughs> After an extremely long, hard day, it's time for the ultimate leisure activity of all. A good night's sleep. <laughs> Like this, you're guaranteed to feel totally revitalized and arrive at breakfast feeling bright eyed and bushy tailed. <laughs> there are many opportunities to unwind on these leisure weekends. We've just shown you some of them. Have with Quentin. I always drive better after a drink. <laughs> Young Anthony, right, come, come on, chump chops for you, there, boy. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, carry on, young. <laughs> I'm trying to wake up a friend of mine. Come on, wake up. Oh, look, here he comes now. <laughs> Hi there, Dipso. Uh, uh, how are you today? Well, Lloyd, I'm an alcoholic. Lick, lick, lick. <laughs> Breakfast. <laughs> I did so. Don't cry, because today is a very, very special day. Do you know what day it is? Oh, of course not. I'm an alcoholic. Click, click, click. <laughs> Are you freaking deaf or what? 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 <laughs> Dipso, today is your birthday. Hooray! <laughs> By the smell of things, it could be your last. But hey, look here. I've got I've got you a special little present. Ooh. Methylated spirit. My favorite tit tit tit. <laughs> Gee, I'm so happy I could sing a song. <laughs> I'm Mother in the gutter, then I'm sick, sick, sick. The dogs all come along and have a lick, lick, lick. I don't want any coke or speed or 
horse or skag. I just want the juice from my brown paper bag. <coughs> I'm glad that I've been living an apartment because I am in continent mint mint and again. Hey, dumbass! Oh, hi, Maria. Keep the freaking noise, Donna. I'll rip your face off. <laughs> Maria is a social worker. In this country, a lot of young men have lost a testicle because of infrequent checks. So make sure your checks arrive on time, or I'll cut you off a politics. Hi, Jed. Hi, Dave. Glad to we found a window for this meeting. Yeah. Uh, uh, mineral water, please. Oh, Jed, what a nightmare, man. Fifteen years I've been locked up in here. I'd have gone mad if I couldn't watch the football. <laughs> right, who's in charge of this little operation? Hello there, young Anthony. You're not connected with this, eh? Afraid so. Got your promotion, I see. How's that old granny of yours? Partial to a nice bit of fresh kidney, as I recall. Look, Mr. Bunbury, I'm sorry. Go right nice and old baked pie, this it. There's nothing here for us, lads. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Well, it's been a day of sporting action in and around London. Let's find out what happened with Rob. Good and bad news, Rob. <coughs> England's Jim Randall scored a perfect five in the first period of extra time, but dropped back later on when his goggle filled up in the second modem. From then on, it was all downhill all the way, and he had to blow off of the 15th, Rob. <laughs> He's now lying 108th behind Gobbler. What about Bustier, Rob? Well, Rob, Bustier is now ranked second hardest in the world since he beat Matt's cubicle. He thumped three Trevors in the first rumba and then put in a quite enormous boner in the fourth. At one point, he was asked for new crimpers, but he was consistent up front, and his wrist action has never looked better, Rob. Would you say he's unstoppable, Rob? I'd say he's unstoppable, Rob. Well, thanks for that. On this form, he could well be the man to take the red scarf from Lily Crap. And of course, if he does that, he'll be looking to Oslo in June to lift the triple skirt. <laughs> the cheek of the man. But uh, that's no mean achievement, Rob. No mean achievement indeed, Rob. If you remember the last time the triple skirt was held by one man, that man was Vasco Toddy in 81. I remember it as if it were yesterday. No, it was 81, Rob. <laughs> Thank you for that, Rob. And, uh, right, finally, well, it's controversy over some of the sporting clothing to be worn by a competitor. That's right, Rob. The man in question is the American Floyd Piles. Mm, trust him, Rob. You can't, Rob. Piles has always been a bit of a maverick. You may remember he once called a judge an estuary of farts. Mm. Well, today he showed up in a lycra snood, and that really was too much for many of the old traditionalists. However, the sports ruling body, Alfalfa, has given Piles the go-ahead, and he'll be back on thrush number one tomorrow, angling for the furry cup, Rob. Well, I certainly wouldn't mind seeing that, Rob. Thanks very much indeed, Rob. Thank you very much indeed, Rob. Ta-da! Jay Poppy. One luxury studio flat, ideal for a student. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yes, it has all the mod cons. Uh, 
TV. <laughs> That's a telescope. Yeah, and you can see right into Mr. Richardson's front room with it, yeah. <laughs> Perfect for late night satellite viewing. Yeah, a bit of a technique to keep the telescope still with the one hand, though, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the boudoir. Now, I'm afraid I'm going to have to charge for any spillages. <laughs> now, my last tenant, Mr. Grayson, had chronic bronchitis. Yeah. <laughs> Made me a very rich man. <laughs> <laughs> now, then, uh, is the sink. <laughs> uh, the luxury face flannel. <laughs> and, of course, the B-Day. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> Now, uh, you'll have to share the bathroom with me. <laughs> Dare I ask what that's for? Uh, the plug hole. <laughs> At my age, I tend to shed a lot of body hair. <laughs> yeah, sure. <clears throat> Look, thanks for showing me. No, 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 there's more. Uh, the couple who live next door are very, very quiet, especially for newlyweds. So, uh, you'll have to use this. Oh, <laughs> the sound of nylon against flesh. <laughs> no, no, thanks for showing me the room, but I really don't think so. No, no, no. the rent. The rent is only eight pounds a week. Eight quid? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, look, all right, I'll take it. <laughs> I've only got a tenner. Oh, right, right, I'll give you some change, I'm sure I've got a couple hanging around in here somewhere. <laughs> um, yeah, why don't we leave it? Uh, take off next week's rent. Yeah, it'd be easier. Yeah. Marvellous! We have a deal. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Mm. Professor Chalfont! <laughs> Your new roommate. <laughs> Enchanté. <laughs> Enjoy! <laughs> you have been found guilty of serial murder, high treason, and trying to pervert the course of justice. I have no alternative but to give you 25 life sentences to run concurrently. <laughs> Bit of sirloin. <laughs> Suspended. <laughs> sir, sir. Thanks, Dickie. You all right? Yeah. Yeah. Very quiet today. Well, uh, actually, there's something I've I've been meaning to tell you for some time, actually. Not another dirty joke, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, I don't quite know how to break it to you. Well, just come out and say it, Gareth. I mean, I can't tell your best friend. Who can you tell? Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's a problem. I've got a new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't plan it. It, it just happened. How long has this been going on for, then? <laughs> three months. Three months? You mean for the last three months you've been coming around my house drinking my beer and all that time, behind my back, you've been matey with somebody else? <laughs> I couldn't help it. It was a case of best friends at first sight. <laughs> Do I know this person? Dicky. <laughs> Dicky? Oh, Gareth, come on, anybody else but Dicky. Do you know how many best friends he's had? I don't care! <laughs> well, here, it's the real thing. I mean, we talk about everything. Football and everything. <laughs> but we can talk about football, you know we can. No, we can't, Norman. Yes, yes, we can. A square ball, man on, free <laughs> shot. <laughs> sure. Well, whatever it is, I don't know. Look, Norman, Norman, look, Norman, sorry, we've, we've just drifted apart. The spark has gone. 
We can get the spark back. I know no, we, we can't. <laughs> it's over. Look, I, ju I just don't want to hurt you anymore. You're not hurting me. <laughs> I am. You're not. Look, I am. I just hope that in the future, although we're not best friends, we could be passing acquaintances. <laughs> <laughs> what stick you got that I haven't got? <laughs> When I was a little geezer, my old man said to me, these words well nice of wise advice as I sat upon his knee. He whispered in my shell like these words straight from his heart. You can be an egg, you can be a rug, but you can't be a real good fart. No, better at an egg. Well, not. Better at an egg. Not. Don't do your nut, just drop your gut. It's better at an egg. Just drop a cushion creeper or a silent but deadly. Please show off when you blow off, it's better at an in. I say, I say, I say. What do you say? My dog has got no nose. Good, and he can't smell this scent. I've heard this telltale gurgle down in my chutney locker. I heard a squeak, I smell a leak. My god, it was a shocker. This horse bloke sitting next to me, his face began to burn. He said, Don't you fart in front of my wife. I said, Why was it her turn? <laughs> Just unclog them, blame the dog, it's better than it. <laughs> <laughs> now people throughout history were prone to blowing off. Archimedes said Eureka, cos he done a trouser cough. <laughs> Napoleon needed drop one, then he met his Waterloo. And Tarzan wears a loincloth in case he follows through. He's one. He's one, yeah. He's nab one, he's nab one, 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 nab one,